Apex. Yes. Let's talk about it. Let's Ooh. see what's going on with that. Okay, okay. So they finally revealed Seer um, and gave us a little hint on his abilities. We are still not entirely sure what he's bringing. Um, we do know that he is recon. So he has a heartbeat sensor that activates when you're aiming down sights. He can send out a swarm of tiny drones that'll track enemies. And his ultimate is a big sphere or sphere of nanobots that will track anyone who goes into it. So this is directly competing with one of the strongest legends that has been in this game since launch, and their name is Bloodhound. And Bloodhound has been a really strong pick in competitive and casual play for forever. So it's going to be really interesting to see how pick rates are going to change this season. Um, the meta seems to still be very much so like one recon player, um, one defensive, and one movement character. So that doesn't seem to be changing too much. There is ranked arenas now that just got announced. Um, they actually put out a patch notes that it's going to have the same map schedule as unranked arenas. Um, we'll see a bunch of old maps come in, but three new maps, Kings Canyon, Hillside, World's Edge Dome, Olympus Oasis are also getting thrown into the mix. Um, and unlike ranked battle royale, there won't be a split halfway through the season and your rank won't reset until the end of the season. Um, and actually in arenas, you will be able to de-rank out of um, a rank. So in Battle Royale, let's say you hit Diamond and you lose matches and you get down to like negative RP. You won't leave, you won't be de-ranked there, but in arenas, um, if you lose enough games and you lose RP through plat, like you'll get demoted to gold. So that, those are like some of the biggest things that I think people are going to be looking at. Now you're you're pretty plugged into the sort of Apex community uh, side of things. Did, are people happy with this news? Are they? Is this what what they're what they're looking for? Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I I think I think what the community wants right now more than anything is just kind of an update on um, how server uh, maintenance is going and how uh, maintenance is going on the whole hacker situation and DDoSing. But I think in terms of like next season, um, what is it called? Like expectations for the next season. This is this is a pretty good start. I mean, good, we, yeah. We, yeah, we we got another. We got a look at the the new gun, which I I don't think we needed another LMG, but it's here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, the new the new legend looks very cool. But again, I am kind of concerned on how Seer is directly competing against Bloodhound and pick rates. So it, that's a really interesting call that they put out someone who could potentially take that spot. So they said I, I we're going to get a, a gameplay trailer in a few days, right? Yeah, I, I think, isn't it next Monday? Something I think it's like the 26th. That? Yeah, I don't know 26? what day it is. So, okay. you know, you're look, asking the wrong guy. Uh, <laughs> Destin, you were going to say something? Yeah, so I was really curious, actually, to hear your thoughts. How do you feel about ALGS uh, allowing PlayStation, Xbox, and PC players all to be in the same pool? So, crossplay has been, crossplay competition has been a really hot topic, um, especially amongst competitive players. It's so the aim assist on console is a lot greater in Apex than any other game that I've played. So that's kind of <laughs> kind of a deterrent. Uh, but they did specify that the aim assist that console players would be competing in would be PC aim assist, which is about half the amount that console players currently get on console. So that's a really good step to amend it. I will say that if you do play on PC, keyboard and mouse allows you to get more creative with movement. Not saying that controller players can't do that. Um, it's just a little harder to do specific moves. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. We're going to see playoffs first before we see the big global series um, finals. So I'm very curious to see how this format's going to work. And we're going back to LAN. So we don't need to worry about server lag. We don't need to worry about servers shutting down and not being unable to reconnect. Um, so that's going to be really cool. I know it's coming back in January. So it seems like enough time to hopefully get everyone vaccinated and ready for it. So... Yeah, I, it's just one of those things that we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. Now let's so, talk about uh, the. Oh, go ahead. I was going to ask about the three v uh, the three v three arenas, which my yes. understanding is that they were delayed because they weren't quite working out. Respawn needed some more time with it, but now they're finally coming out of this season. Is that correct? Yeah. So I was just talking about the arenas ranked uh, season that starts um, with. The next one, which is um, emergence. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's like there's all that stuff that they just. Um, they just uploaded with their new post talking about ranked changes for arenas, um, how it's going to be different from Battle Royale. I know they said that the first 10 matches that you play, it's going to be hit or miss. Like you might get absolutely slaughtered. You might absolutely roll enemies. Um, that's because your MMR is going to have to be completely reset just to make sure that the ranked system is working properly. So um, I'm probably going to wait before I play because I, you know, I don't know about you guys, but getting stomped in a game kind of makes me feel bad about myself. So <laughs> I'm, 
I'm good on waiting.